right. Yeah. So we had this lovely lady present to us today with pain surrounding the medial aspect of both her bilateral helix. She's a relatively healthy 47 year old female. She had bilateral edges of bilateral helix PNAs done with phenolization uh, nine months ago. Following the surgery, she had some surrounding redness along the PNA site. The podiatrist and GP put her on two courses of Keflex antibiotics, which did not resolve the redness. Following the, the, the treatment plan, uh, following the PNA procedure, the patient is presented today with increased pain, where you can see these two X's marked so along the sulci edge, where the surgery was performed. The nail itself is not sore. The matrix aspect is not sore, but this sulci edge is particularly painful along the apex in particular, along the side of the toe, on both her toes there. So again, on her left hallux, the nail itself is not causing any pain. There's no regrowth of any nail, but she's particularly symptomatic along this sulci edge, and there is some increased inflammation and redness along the edge there. Did the uh, antibiotics make any difference? Not really, no. We've had a discussion with the patient and we've come to a conclusion that it's, uh, it's likely that the phenol that was used as part of the uh, p &A procedure has caused an increased chemical, chemical burn along the aspect, um, causing per perhaps some nerve ir irritation, some periosteal reaction or irritation along that distal tuft of the toe. Um, again, palpating the nail is not sore, but that sulci edge is sore. So what we're going to do today is just give a corticosteroid injection along this aspect here to try and reduce the inflammation and manage her pain as best as possible. And just advise the patient along the, the, the time period as to what or when this uh, chemical reaction can settle down. So I'm going to come from this way. Mm -hmm. And then just try and fan out to all three aspects, yeah, right? You should be able to come through this way and hopefully just inject up there. See how you go. Um, you can vary the position of the, the needle. But going from the, the most fleshiest part is definitely easier. Mm. So this is one of the most common complications that we see with partial nail abortion is the issue with penalization. It's, um, it's a mild acid, but it penetrates soft tissue extremely well. Um, if it gets into, remember it's not very meaty around there, so the phenol can seep through and cause periosteal, um, a periosteal burn um, of the, the distal phalanx. It is not uncommon to see it quite a lot. Um, and it can be commonly thought of as an infection. And that's why you know you go on the antibiotics and it really makes no difference at all. While you're on the antibiotic, it may feel a little bit better, but soon after it's just back. Now we could um, have the patient um, just wait longer and longer and longer, but we're going to try to calm it down because it's been six months. Um, and Abdul then will go through the injection with you and, and a few other stuff. I'll look at that. Thing. Right, are you going to feel a little bit of a sharp scratch? So take a nice deep breath for me. Sharp scratch. You're going to feel a little bit of a sting now. Why don't you just keep taking some nice deep breaths for me? So the corticosteroid is an well, this dexamethasone is a corticosteroid. It's going to take a few weeks for the steroid itself to crystallize. You may experience some redness and tenderness from the injection for a, for a day or two, which is expected. Keep taking some nice deep breaths for me. It's going to feel a little bit of a sting on that end of your toe there so you can see there's a little bit of blanching right there mm -hmm. now tell me how hard is it to get um, the injection into that tissue very because tight it's mm -hmm. tight right mm -hmm. but it goes in yeah we've got done half a mil so far mm 
Maybe one a little bit more superficial. Yeah. Try to get um, at least a good mill along there. Move the needle along. Yep. Me too. So we've used xylocaine, so it's quick acting like anaesthetic. That's probably the most I'm going to get in there. Fantastic. Alrighty. It's another sharp scratch in a second. One, two, three, nice deep breath for me. So you're gonna feel a little bit of a sting, I'm really sorry. Take, uh, keep taking some nice deep breaths for me. One more sharp scratch. One, two, three, nice deep breath. She was particularly so along this apex here. Yeah, it does not get through. Yeah, I want to make sure that that needle reaches there. So you can see where the blanchings occurred. Mm -hmm. So I'll 